Just when you thought you were a graduate student becoming a doctor, it's back to those ABCs. Or should we say G's and P's? But we're getting ahead of ourselves already. Oh wait, the school bell's ringing. Time for class. First off, we gotta make sure that the patient is actually pregnant. For that, we test for beta-human chorionic gonadotropin, or beta-HCG. Beta-HCG is a hormone that's initially produced by the placenta in order to support the corpus luteum to continue to make progesterone. Both urine and blood pregnancy tests detect beta-HCG. The urine test is a qualitative, positive or negative, beta-HCG test, and the blood test is usually a quantitative, amount of beta-HCG detected, test. If it's a quantitative test, the level of beta-HCG should double every 48 hours and peak at about 10 weeks into the pregnancy. Another way to diagnose pregnancy, and something that's used as an adjunct to urine or serum testing, is ultrasound. With a transvaginal ultrasound, an intrauterine gestational sac should be able to be visualized at 5 weeks. By 6 weeks, a transvaginal ultrasound should be able to see a fetal heart rate. Once you've established a pregnancy, the next step is to date it. This is the most important step of diagnosing a pregnancy for many reasons.